okay student student of class 10 today we will uh, try to understand about refraction of light what do we understand by refraction actually you might have seen many of the phenomenons around us like when when we immerse a stick in water a stick looks bented or we can say sometimes we see the star twinkles what is the reason of twinkling of a star that is refraction of light by atmosphere that is also known as atmospheric refraction so first of all we should know what is the meaning refraction of light actually when we talk about refraction then we say that refraction means bending of light why light bends and what is the reason of bending that also we will study but first we will understand the refraction means bending of light when light travels from one medium to another so when light travels from one medium to another it actually don't follow this its straight line path either it bends towards normal or it bends away from normal actually the reason could be given that speed of light is different in different medium and due to this change in speed light bends from its straight line path that we will see by diagram also we will study by diagram okay so refraction of light that is our today's topic refraction of light that is our video ban revolution that is our today's topic Okay, students. This is very interesting topic: refraction of light. And we will use some diagrams to understand. There are two laws of refraction also that we will study today, and we will define refractive index also today. What is the point refractive index? So that is all about today's discussion. Okay, let us understand. refraction of light first we will write one definition <clears throat> the phenomenon of bending the phenomenon of bending of light when it travels from one medium to another medium is known as is known as refraction of light so what is the cause of refraction one can ask that cause of refraction actually light travels with different speeds in different medium and this is a reason of refraction light 
travels with different speed in different medium and that is the reason of refraction of light light travels with different speed in different medium and that is the reason of refraction of light light travels with different speed in different medium and this is the reason for refraction of light. So when we are talking about <coughs> diagrams, diagrams are very important tool to understand refraction. <coughs> See here what happens. This is a surface x y and this surface separates two medium. Medium one, maybe it is medium one and maybe there is medium 2 also. So, medium 1 and medium 2. Okay, let us think that it is a rarer medium. Maybe air. And it is denser medium. Maybe it is water. Or solid glass or whatever. So here let's see what happens. In light ray this is incident light. When it is incident at the point, this is called point of incidence. Then we draw a normal at this point. Okay, we draw a normal. This is normal, you can name it N and S. This is normal. Or we get incident ray. OA. OA is incident ray, light ray. And what we see? <coughs> we see that this OA incident ray don't follow its straight line path. If there would be no medium change, it, had, it would have followed the path like this. Okay, it had uh, followed the path like this. But because medium change is involved here, so this path is deviated and it bends towards normal. So OA incident ray and OB refracted ray. It is called Refracted. This is called angle of incidence. This is angle of incidence. Incident ray making angle with the normal that is angle of incidence. 
refracted ray making some angle with normal so that is refracted angle angle of refraction so that is very important because second law of refraction says sin of the angle of incidence i to ratio sin r is a constant for a pair of medium there are two laws of refraction of light first law is very simple it is very similar to law of reflection that incident ray ao refracted ray ob you, you can see refracted ray ob normal normal is perpendicular n and s on the surface n and s all are in the same plane all are in the same plane this is known as first law of refraction of light this is known as first law of refraction of light now when we talk about second law that is also known as snell's law of refraction of light okay that is known as snell's law of refraction of light there are two laws रिफ्रैक्शन का दो नियम होता है और इस बात को समझना होगा रिफ्रैक्शन के दो नियम बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और इस दोनों नियम को हम लोग को अच्छे से समझना चाहिए ये दोनों नियम हम लोगों को अच्छे से समझने की जरूरत है ओके तो लेट अस राइट two laws of refraction of light <coughs> first law first law of refraction of light it says that incident ray refracted ray and normal n and s all lie in the same plane all lie in the same sound come from so we can write incident ray refracted ray okay and normal okay normal n and s normal all normal drawn at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane all lie in the same same plane means okay we consider board as a plane so board is a plane so we are showing the incident plane but if take it like plane like this okay this is one plane Another plane, another plane. So there could be many planes on this board, flat planes. Like this. So first law we have got. Now let us go through second law of refraction of light. That is quite important, very uh, important for higher ideas also. And we can derive many formulas like refraction formula based on this. Okay, refraction formula. based on this because actually that is the higher idea you know that we should understand all about refraction on the basis of refraction formula also so for refraction one surface that separates two media and that is the surface called refracting surface that could be plane refracting surface that could be spherical 
spherical means it could be concave refracting surface or convex refracting surface actually later on we are going to study about lens also that is the application of refraction of lens light in lens generally that two times refracts that we will study in detail so okay now come to second law of refraction second law what is second law of refraction okay tell all of you try when you are studying all this when you watch this video you also simultaneously practice of writing speaking telling and i think that we are in the classroom situation and we are telling to each other we are telling to our friends to teacher to concern our elder brother sister or in the family member situation we are practicing all this that will give you a very much uh, interactive uh, way of learning that we are missing because this offline in the classroom allah when the school will open very soon i hope and we are going to learn all this again in detail but you just imagine those classroom situation of previous class and you think that you are in the classroom setting and you are studying okay students second law of refraction what it says it says that the ratio of sine of angle of incidence that is sin i to sin r okay sin of angle of incidence to sin r that is angle of refraction sin of angle of refraction for a pair of media is for a pair of media is constant known as refractive index known as refractive known as refractive index <coughs> so refractive index is defined from second law of refraction that is also known as snell's law of refraction okay second law of refraction is also known as snell's law of refraction of light in mathematical form okay in a mathematical form we can write snell's law in mathematical form sin i to sin r okay sin i to sin r ratio okay ratio of sin i to sin r okay sin of this angle of incidence okay sin of this angle that is refraction angle is a constant this constant is known as mu mu here of 2 medium 2 with respect to 1 okay 
that is sin i by sin this is a greek letter mu so from second law of refraction of light the differential of refractive index comes refractive index of second medium with respect to one is sin i to sin r okay and this is fixed the value of this constant is fixed for pair of medium like a uh, example you consider if you are selecting uh, vacuum and glass then refractive index of glass with respect to vacuum will be 1.33 if we select medium 1 as vacuum and medium 2 as water then refractive index of water with respect to vacuum is 1.33 if we select diamond as second medium and first medium as vacuum or air then the value will come refractive index of diamond with respect to vacuum or air will come approximately 2.4 2. So these are some of the values that I gave you of different medium. Actually, when we compare uh, one medium with vacuum, then that refractive index is called absolute refractive index. But when we compare two medium, like glass with what water, we compare carbon dioxide sulfide with water, we compare kerosene with water, then that will be called relative refractive index. So there are two types of refractive index, absolute refractive index, relative refractive index, that we will consider in another video. Okay students, thank you.